Before we start, I would want you to hit that red subscribe button so you never miss out on any of our videos. Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to Film Boss. The reality television show Hardcore Pawn is based on a business family, the Gold Family. Their business of pawns has been blooming for some time and they are thinking to widen their horizons and open more branches. Not only does the pawn shop trade jewelry, but also loans out to the customers. They encounter unusual and sleazy customers every other day. Here are some of the sleaziest customers to ever appear on Hardcore Pawn. Number 1. Fake Baby Bump In an episode of the show, a pregnant woman appeared at the store and talked to Ashley and told her a very depressing background. She told Ashley that she is a single mother and her husband has abandoned her and now she is all on her own. Ashley took pity for her and sold her a rocking chair at a very cheap price so that she would be able to afford it. Finally, when the chair was loaded in her car and she had made the payment, she took off her fake bump and threw it in Ashley's face as she drove away in the car with a man, who was supposedly her husband. At that point, Ashley was just shocked. Number 2. Stolen Microphone There are many instances when stolen items were brought to the pawn shop by the different customers. Such a case happened when one day a teenager came to the store looking to sell a pair of microphones. Rich Pyle was a formerly rehired senior supervisor on the show that was skeptical about a teenager who was stealing microphones that he hoped to sell. The kid claimed that he had gotten them from a concert and were thrown in the crowd and he was the one who caught it. Nevertheless, Rick found the owner of the microphones, who was a local club owner, and the teenager had gotten them from that club. Number 3. Watch Band Barter Hardcore pawn shop owners come across weird and crazy dealers trying to cut a deal off something daily. Their experiences have helped them learn a lot about dealers and their ways of dealing. Once an episode featured a high-end watch dealer who tried to make a deal on a premium watch with less gold. The show's lead, but he did not have enough cash on hand at the moment. Gold trusted him and made a deal that he can pay later through credit, but unfortunately the customer betrayed him and sent him 130 watch bands instead of cash he owed to Gold in the mail. This insane barter made Les furious with a sword hanging to sell those 130 bands. Number 4. iPhone Story Many times on the show, customers show up with different mobile phones in the hopes to set a good price. In an episode, a man tried to pawn an iPhone 4S with another phone at the store. As for the store's policy, a receipt is required for any items pawned at the shop, so the man was also asked to show the receipt, which he was unable to provide. He was also unable to provide any other proof or purchase from the Golds. He insisted that he spent two grand for the phone, and it seemed like a story with a lot of loopholes since used Apple products do not sell for such a high price, let alone new Apple products. He tried to convince the employee, but failed. 5. Stolen Art Art pieces are also brought by customers in abundance at the pawn shop to identify the real and fake owners is also a hefty task for the shop owners. One episode aired an art piece brought to the store, which was doubted to be a stolen item. The deal was about to be made when the actual owner of the art piece called and told his side of the story. It was declared that the people who were trying to make a deal affirmed the owner on a good deal with Les Gold since he was a family friend. In the end, they told the owner that they were able to get less than expected for the artwork and later kept the money for themselves instead of giving them to the owner. Number 6. Fake Diamonds Other than stolen items, fake items also appear on the show and it is also an important task for the store employee to identify what's fake and what's real. In an episode, a woman came to the shop and hoped to return diamond earrings. She asserted that the earrings missed one diamond on them, hence demanded a full refund in cash. She also didn't have any receipt to prove her claim. However, the goals were able to discover that the diamonds were fake and the lady was only deceiving to get cash. Security is to be called to ask her out after she tried to create havoc at the store. Number 7. Disloyal Employee For a shop that deals with extremely valuable items, trusted employees are priority number one. Joel Big Joe Shannon was the head security at the Gold's Pawn Shop, which automatically means he was a trusted employee. However, he was caught trying to steal red-handed from the store through the CCTV cameras. He gave in the leather trap and tried to steal a diamond ring that was left on purpose to check if he stole it. The camera showed the truth and upon interrogation, it was found out that Jeff had stolen jewelry worth up to $7,000 in value over the months to which he pleaded guilty. Number 8. Fake Receipt One day, a woman with her friend came to the store to pawn off a ring. She had a receipt, too, to prove its originality, but Les immediately told her that the receipt was fake. She told Les that she will not let this go and will file a lawsuit. Surprisingly, she did bring a lawyer after a few days, but the receipt was fake and the lawyer told her the same. Neither the ticket number nor the font matched on the receipt, proving its unoriginality. This brings us to the end of our video. I hope you enjoyed it. Hit like if you did, and don't forget to subscribe to our channel so you don't miss out on any of our videos in the future. Also, watch the two videos that are on your screen because I'm sure you'll love them. With that, I'll see you in the next video.